That's the way I am. <laughs> mm. Aldrin see three movies this week, and you wouldn't let me go to those either. And little Maggie might get scaled. <laughs> well, I think I'm old enough to handle the flying eater. As if. Flyinator 3 is rated FM for Fly Mature. I'm not even allowed to see it without Mom and Dad coming with me. Hey, that's my bit. Back off. The Prancing Princess is the best! Little Maggie might get scared. Uh, Aldrin, uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, right. I saw you two coming out of the movie, and I'm gonna tell Mom and Dad. Well, I don't even care, because I proved my... Hmm, maybe. But I bet you can't handle the Flyinator. Yeah, well, neither can you. Don't be so sure. Because I just saw it with my buddy, George. It was no big deal, right, George? How'd you get in without Mom and Dad? I didn't. Allow me to introduce you to the new Mr. and Mrs. Pesky. Movie's over, guys. Beat it. Ha-ha, uh -huh. Aldrin. The point is, the score isn't even, because now I've seen Flyinator 3, and you haven't. <laughs> yeah, you won't last five minutes in there. It'll scare your wings off. Oh, like you're so tough? I saw the whole movie, didn't I? Good luck getting in without parents. Well, how'd you like the movie? It was great. Why do you ask? <laughs> I don't know. You seem a little shaken up. Oh, please. Don't worry about them. I covered for you and said you were studying with Reina at the library, so we're all in the clear. I, I just stepped on her foot. To... Ah! That's all. Yes, Mom. You better pull yourself together, Maggie, or we're gonna be in big trouble. Gilbert, look out! Ixnay on the og frame. Maggie Pesky, did you see that movie even though we told you not to? Saw it and then I couldn't. You also saw the Flyinator? Ooh, wasn't that good? Oh, I mean, bad boy. <sighs> Selling me out like that after all I did for you. Lying about you being at the library, stomping on your foot. Maggie, shut up. So, that movie didn't shake you up at all, huh? Oh, please. I can handle stuff like that, Dad. I'm older. Plus, I'm a guy. I'll never let the flying eater hurt you. I know, Prancing Princess. I know. Hey, that's mine. Give me. Give it to me. It's mine. You've had it all day. Let's go. Let me go. Hey, Aldrin, how was fly ball practice? Eh, boring. They say practice makes perfect, but I'm already perfect, so why do I even go? Hoping my greatness will rub off on you? Oh, really? I'd be happy to give you a lesson. Okay, Pupert, uh, time to hit the shop. Uh, uh. Hey, Aldrin, you don't... Oh, but I do. Here are the teams. Me versus G, thanks. Your ball. <laughs> say good game, but, uh, <laughs> hey, let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> Nothing like a glass of refreshing, chunky old milk. Right, Mr. Guns? <gasps> no, no, don't get upset. Daddy loves you both the same. Of course not. He lost. I'll tell you who had fun. Me, the winner. Only losers make excuses. <laughs> Maggie, the phrase, go out there and have fun, is what coaches tell the losers of the world. Winners like me are told to go out there and crush those losers. It's not like losers always lose. Oh, but they do. Nobody would be more proud, or amazed, than me if he ever outdid me at anything. But he never will. I didn't ask to be this incredible. I just am. Listen, winner. I bet Pupert could beat you at something. Um, that's hysterical and all, but I could beat Captain Klutz at any game, anytime, anywhere. Great. I love being on. Fly like an eagle. You joke, but it's okay. It's grace. You really do the great face. You're a loser in every... Yes. You're challenging me to bugskitball? Please. We're not playing bugskitball, my friend. We're playing fun ball. Fun ball? Wait, I've never heard of fun ball before. I'm sorry, was that an excuse? And I thought only losers make excuses. Oh, would you rather play excuse ball? Here's the official fun ball rule book. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Winner versus... Okay, Aldrin, try not to hurt Pupert. Pupert, try not to get hurt. 
handed to me by my kid brother. What is going on here? Are you letting him win on purpose? No, it's this game. It's crazy. I'm out there stealing and dunking and I'm getting squashed like I hit a windshield. I gotta admit, little buddy, you're off to a stellar start. Put her there. Okay. Ah! Oh, enjoy, bud. Hey, Max, this ain't so tough once you get the hang of it. from sticky feet like this every once in a while. It's nice quality time for the whole family, right, Maggie? Shoefly, you bother me. Mr. S <gasps> How awesome is that? Hey. Absolutely not. We aren't the kind of flies who carry germs. We raised you better than that. Germs are filthy little creatures. Back to sticky feet. A great trip, huh, kids? I know, I'm really... Uh, Aldrin? So, what can Aldrin do for ya? Okay, there's this guy. Ooh, Maggie likes a boy. Okay, I'm done, go ahead. Anyhow. Did you tell him that under absolutely no circumstance would you ever, in a million years, date him? Oh. Then he totally thinks you're his girlfriend. What are you talking about? He's the director. The director's like the quarterback. He's got to be completely in charge. No, but at least Bugspit and I have both been in charge of stuff, which is more than anybody can say for you. First, I'm going to make Uncle Zappy ride a wild protozoa. No, first, I'm going to lasso a hoot. <laughs> are you kidding? He totally does. And I get stuck doing all the work for the bacteria auction. Aww. Ew. Aldrin, you're growing like a weed. Well, I reckon you can do the work of ten flies. Yeah, thanks. All those males will scum to the barn, would you? Great. Now come up close now, Pubert, and take a look at the miracle of life. Old Celia's just about to have a youngin. It's a boy! If you think that's cute, check this out. Welcome to Rancho Rejecto. How come I'm doing chores? I'm supposed to be the favorite. Poor, naive Maggie. Let me show you something. My hat. No, back when I was Ed's favorite, it was my hat. I could have told you that this time Pupert would be the new sheriff of favorite town. So I can see that face you're making right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a keeper. Terribly awesome. We may not be able to outcute Pubert, but we can definitely outsmart him. I am so in. No dinner for any of you until you divide. And there's nothing you can do about it. No, genius. The auction's tomorrow. Yeah, well, you might want to think a little faster. Tick-tock, tick-tock. So what? We're gonna go on the road with a magic act? You know, maybe we should go with some kind of code that only we know, so we can control it. Some random series of letters and... 76QQ309. My bug ball scoring record, the section of bleachers I can hit a fly ball to, plus the number of times I've been homecoming king times the number of places my teeth gleam when I smile. <phone rings> Who's the first thing that popped into my head? Oh, oh sweet! Make her do it again! Good point. Besides, why settle for just her? Now, what's the surprise y'all are so umped and danged eager to do? My herd! This is... You saved my ranch! I'm so happy! I gotta see some dancing! <laughs> uh, uh, actually, Uncle Zeb, we both... We both decided I look absolutely fantabulous in this hat, don't you think? But, Uncle Zeb, I'm the one who... Blame the hat. It makes me do crazy things. Uncle Zeb from 
for me. She double-crossed me. But dang, if that isn't one fun hat. Uncle Zeb, look who's here. It's your second and third favorites. <laughs> Come on, buddy. So wait! Put her there, partner. But Aldrin, we ruined Uncle Zeb's ranch. Look what you made me do! Give me that hat! <laughs> I blame myself for playing favorites. Now y'all are all my favorites. I never realized how much that silly little hat meant to all y'all. Oh, that old thing? We're so over it. Okay, I get it Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Weekends, holidays. Deal. It was an accident, sweetheart. She's just a maggot. Uh, hello. We hang out tons. Check out the trick I taught her. Ta-da! Bella's your sister. I think it's time you two finally bonded. So, Maggie, while your father and I are out tonight, you're in charge of Bella. That's our cue. Hubert, let's roll. Get me! Hey, you want to come, Maggie? Oh, no. That's right. You're babysitting. Hey, where are you going? Just the most putrid, repulsive, disgusting spot in the universe. No way. That's right. A college dorm room in the human world. Check it. The fly-by-night carnival. One night only. Later. <laughs> Daddy's home. Behold, the filth world. Never knew the world could <laughs> be so beautiful. <laughs> Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Hey, it's your wings on the line, not mine. Come on, guys, we got a date with Trash Mountain. <laughs> On trash now. Uh, I get my Noah. Oh, my bug! What happened? They're carnies, Maggie! They could be anywhere by now! Lead on. Where there's rotten candy, there's carnies. And where there's carnies, there's Bella. Bella! Bella! Holding bug! One of us! One of us! <laughs> Good luck explaining this one to Mom. Don't you worry about her! She'll be fine! We carnies are like family. Come on, Aldrin! Let's do this! Whoa, whoa, wait! Okay! The object of this game is to see if you can make a basket. You get five. Sort of like that. Yeah! We beat Mom and Dad home. They'll never know we were gone. Oh, woohoo, kids! We're back! Ah! Rotten candy! We gotta get rid of this! Perfecto! Terrific! Great! Pupert. Yeah, Plush just said you'd help me with my school project that's due tomorrow, remember? Oh, we can stay home. I don't mind. Just trying to help. That drum set. And, of course, a triangle for pupers. Lettuce on the side. You want spoiled ketchup with that? Speaks it already. Working the instant rider like a pro. It'll be fantastic. I'll make millions and trillions of dollars. Gee. I am so jealous, Maggie. Just imagine, there you'll be with all of your fake money, and all I'll have is this measly wad of real money to wipe away my tears. <laughs> <laughs> Look who just walked in but Quitter Quitinski. <gasps> hey, it's Quitterella, back from the ball. Let me finish. I Congratulations, sis. But if you're a waitress, why are you covered in sawdust? Uh, because I'm so popular that they threw sawdust on me. Like confetti, shouting, hooray for Maggie! Hoop, some jobs are so cool you don't even need a hat. I think we should go visit Maggie at work tomorrow to show our support the way you all did for me. Who knows? Maybe I could actually learn something from my little sister. No, no, uh, that won't be necessary. Besides, all the food's made of wood. You wouldn't even like it. <laughs> and finally, we have a delicious Tuscan villa. Back in a jiffy. Hey, Maggie, I'm sorry for doubting you there. I just thought you were showing me up, and it wasn't right of me to... Would you hurry it up? You're not my only table. Oh, right. I can explain. Uh, you boy. Excuse me. Are you folks done with this table? 
Maggot Pesky, if I still had a restaurant to fire you from, I would. <laughs> Hooray for Maggie. Do you mind telling me why you had to go and ruin my job for me? Why'd you have to lie about having a better job than me? I had to work very hard to get where I am. Do you think they let just anyone work the instant rotter? No. I started with the worst job of all, working the fly-through window. The point is, you gotta work your way up the hard way. Well, do you think they might have a job here for me? I'll do anything. Uh, you'll have to ask my new boss. Mr. F! Dad, go long! <laughs> Yeah, Dad. You're a real champ. Good luck in your fly ball tournament, Big A. Kick some thorax. You know it, little bro. Whoa! Awesome. I'll try to find somewhere to put this trophy. Ugh. I've just got us. Did you hear what happened to the bees? Stingo lost his voice. If he doesn't get it back before the championship, the praying mantis is win by forfeit. It's a nightmare. Why? How can you spell at a time like this? Row six! He's with there, Mr. and Mrs. Pathetic with the two kids, Lane Boy One and Oh Look, it's Lane Boy Two! How did you know I was here? I told him everything. I knew you'd come around. Dad! I got my fist stuck in the punching bag again! They can't just get away with acting like that! Sure they can. The world belongs to the strong mags, and those ants lift 50 times their own weight. If you ask me, they should pick on someone their own size. Like Puper. Huh? Hey! That's enough out of you. <laughs> nice off These aren't costumes, little lady. These are uniforms. When you hunt for candy in the human world, you gotta be prepared for anything. Yeah! It's anything. <laughs> oh, there are no good streets, only mean streets. It's no place for ladybugs. Let me show you something. This was my first score. I hunkered down in a jack-o'-lantern all night waiting for the perfect moment to seize this beauty. This one here nearly cost me a wing. No trophy could be sweeter. They say its dark nougat center holds a mirror to the hunter's soul. Hey, George, laugh at my sister so she knows we're mocking her. You don't just get a King Choco bar. It took me three Halloweens to bag my first one. I'm leaving here with that King Choco. Got something to say about it, pal? So forget about getting a King Choco bar, ladies. Beginners should start with candy corn. <laughs> See, I told you I'd get a King Choco bar. A King Choco bar wrapper? <laughs> Big whoop! That proves nothing. What? But uh, Pupert was there. He ate the thing. Pupert, get in here! But I had it. I really did! <laughs> sure you did, rookie. Sure you did. Sayonara, <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I've even hired a personal trainer. Drop and give me five, Megan! I can no longer be scared, rattled, frightened, or alarmed. I'm Pamper Pesky, Fixer of Iron! Wow, Pute, my boy. I'm impressed. Thanks. And what, Maggie, have you done to prepare for this year's Scaretacular? Uh-huh. Pupert Pesky, you've had the chicken long enough. This Halloween, I'm going after Maggie. Silence! The Reaper has spoken. I hereby commence the Pesky Scaring Contest. First sibling to quit and say, I'm scared, gets clucky. Who's in? Needs work, kid. Help me! A human kid pulled off my wings! I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> I'm hungry.
hungry. You want anything from the kitchen? What do you got? I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse fly. Well, I don't have a horse fly, but how about a nice, juicy chicken? <laughs> Better clear off a shelf, because Kalucky's moving in. <laughs> so, you have to spend the entire day in there, and all she has to do is stand out here and wait? That's the deal I made. Maggie, that's a raw deal, and you know it. You can't do this. Raw... Ugh. Doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm tearing down this hunk of junk. I... The little ghost boy? Please. That story's been around since I was a kid. Please, just come inside and I'll show you. Ooh, I'm shaking already. Pupert! Pupert, you gotta get out of here! <laughs> here, he's probably hiding. Look, kid, I've got a house to demolish. <laughs> Pupert! Danger! Pupert, house, crane! I'm sorry, I'm gonna need to buy a ver. Demolish the house, huh? <laughs> I gotta tell you, Maggie, you've tried some weak ways of scaring me before, but this is just pathetic. Aldrin, I'm telling you the truth! Are ya? Cause all I heard was... Whoa. Hey, you seem scared. Are you scared? My little brother's in there! Of course I'm scared! Well then, little lady. We have ourselves a chicken! What? But I... <laughs> no, right! Enough already! But I've got a few questions. Where'd you get the crane? From my dad. And if you were the foreman, how'd you get back home before I did? <laughs> Plan of the track team for nothing. And how would you get permission to totally destroy that house? <laughs> I get it. The police. Oh, that's a good one, Maggie. Dude, they look pretty real. I'm shaking. <laughs> What's the charge, officer? Making Maggie look like a fool? I gotta admit, Maggie, you went all out on this one. You really got me. Whoa! What a doozy! Think about all the work we do around here. <laughs> Maggie, 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 when you've got all this, money is meaningless. Are those Lost Week Snakers? Um, yeah. Luther! <gasps> I'm in! Me too! Maggie, dear. Maggie asked around, and turns out you're lowballing us. Strike! 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 Guys, we stand together, remember? Do it for the team! Strike! 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 Do it for the money? Strike! 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 strike, strike. One, two, three, four! Pesky kids won't do their chores! Five, six, seven, eight! Because our pay is not that great! One, two, five, where was I? This isn't working, Maggie. Yeah, my muscles are growling. Kids, this has gone too far. Well, we gave it a Tell you what, if I can just get your signatures here, here, and here, well, maybe you better have more kids then, because the ones you've got won't work for pennies. Good day. Who in the bug is that? Aldrin... That's New Aldrin! It's a pleasure. New Aldrin? We found them performing at the mall. It was a slow night. And... Uh. They can't keep this up. Dad took the training wheels off. You just don't get those memories back. Eyes on the prize, boys. Did you see that? Oh, they're playing hardball. Okay, boys, nothing to see here. There you go. Now let's get you all tucked in. <laughs> Be strong. We just need a good night's sleep, so back to the garage. We can't keep this up much longer. <laughs> <laughs> It's the middle of August! Then why is it snowing? They really 
Ellie pulled out all the stops. Guys, you can't seriously be... Is that the sweet smell of moldy gingerbread? Hubert, no! Together, no! Get off me! I'm going in! I want to see a Santa King! Hey, Ma, can my buddy Troy stick around for dinner? We got math homework to do. Oh, well, the more the merrier. Thanks, Mrs. Pesky. Mm. Mind if I stay? Well, of course not, dear. Troy, interesting name. Uh, actually, I don't have a girlfriend. Hey, Maggie, how about we send you to Paris right now? What's your take on that, Troy, my boy? What about when you tutor those little snots in math, Troy? Okay, that's different. But then again, no one ever shows up. I... What kind of fleeb invites a teacher over for dinner? And me without my party hat? And go! Well, I... Oh, <laughs> I guess I'll get it. And that is how the Royal Bee Kingdom was saved. Wow, what a story. I've got plenty more where that came from. Can, Can we, we please be excused? excused? Certainly, kids. Go ahead. Save yourselves. Hey, now let's slam you into a tree and see if you feel anything. Uh, you're the best brother ever. And some of the guys who, you know, do stuff. Oh, Will this squad be a pathetic pile without you? Shh, shh. I'm here. Aldrin's here. And, with a weekend before the big game, let's not forget about another fine tradition. Tomorrow's homecoming foot race! This year's prize, a brand new Uber Freshy scooter! Here's my little girl. This is my little girl. Aldrin, click favor. The whole town's counting on me? Why would I waste my time racing a bunch of amateurs for you? Because it's easy for you. You just show up, do your little runny thing, bada bing, bada boom. I get my scooter lifestyle. You know why winning is easy for me? Because I am excellent at everything I do. Was I born excellent? No, I was not. I was born great. I became excellent. To get from great to excellent took years of training and gallons of sweat. You win me that race, and I take the trash out for you for a month. Deal. Mwah, mwah. Yuck. Me, Aldrin. On your marks. Get set. Go! My wing! My ankle! Aldrin! Oh, speak to me, son! I think I've sprained my wing! Well, at least my little sister got the scooter she wanted. Whatever. Maybe some more tissues. I've been crying quite a lot. How am I supposed to lifestyle when the whole town blames me? Remember the good old days when I could function? You gotta play in the homecoming game. Everyone hates me and I'll never get my scooter lifestyle if you don't. Look at me! Do I look like I can play? There must be some way you can get healthy in time. Well, maybe. Just maybe. If I allow my body to get 100% rest between now and the game, I might be able to play. But that means that not only will you have to take out the trash for me, you'll have to do everything for me. Deal. Whatever it takes to get my scooter lifestyle. Shake one of your own hands and pretend it's mine. So what do I gotta do here? Quick waxy once over? I find it takes 12 coats for an excellent wax job. Look, Maggie, I do things one way excellently. If you're not going to do an excellent job, I'll just have to... Ah! Oh, do it myself! No, 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 no! I'll do it, I'll do it! <laughs> First coat, buffer slides you. Twelfth coat, you slide buffer. <laughs> and now to mow the lawn produces the most excellently precise lawn. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> no, 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 don't move. I'm on it. A steady hand begins with a steady mind. <laughs> See all those bricks on the left side of the garage? They need to be stacked on the right side of the garage. 
I'm not even gonna ask. Man, this thing's heavy! My arm's gonna fall off! Things are heavy when you let them be. Let them be light. Excellent. Excellent. Precisely how I would have done it. Excellent. Doing? Why aren't you in your football uniform? Oh, who am I kidding? I'm nowhere near excellent right now. Hey, have you forgotten everything you've taught me? Excellent isn't up there. It's in here. You're right. I <gasps> need to conserve strength. Push me to the stadium. Excellent. <laughs> I know a shortcut. Quick, do it. Whoa, whoa, wait. My 12th coat, you slide buffer. I can do this! The stadium! Almost there! This is for you. Aldrin drops back and finds to his favorite receiver, Aldrin! Because, Maggie, you got this scooter thanks to my excellence. But to have your scooter lifestyle, um, that excellence had to come from you. <laughs> Lucky girl. Now you get a scooter and a lesson. <laughs> Ew, they left the packing ham inside. I've gone the right side, back, back. Oh, Maggie's already got it. Okay, Maggie. Moving on. <sighs> the farmer's cat is a groovy cat. Baby, daddy's coming. Packing ham jelly, nasty. Maggie, no. Well, thank goodness the rest of the house is all right. Oh, right. Sorry about your room, honey. <laughs> so you can control everything in your life, huh? Just about. Except my temper! <laughs> <laughs> Cool. I embrace it as a kind of challenge. It's all for clog and clog for all. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> oh, this is so exciting! I'm gonna go see what's on the TV. I kind of like it. It makes me look even cooler than usual, and I didn't think that was possible. I feel bad. I'm not showering before I get in the pool. Kind of bad. <laughs> We did our stoop pendus family thing, and now we just sit back and leave the rest of mystery. Soon we'll be able to do any show in town. Maybe even go national. The whole world can see us clog. The wig shows all truth. That sounded like... And Florence! <laughs> this can't be good. What? Golly, I never realized clogging was so unpopular. Maybe we should have kept it our own private thing. I can barely hear myself thinking of me. Duck! 
Lena and Maria are showing me their new synchronized flying routine. Done! Isn't synchronized flying supposed to be, you know, synchronized? Grand finale, fly friend! Oh, wow, that was... that was just... Oh, I don't have words. Oh, I do. No! <laughs> are you guys for real? <laughs> Is this one of those hidden camera things? He means it's unreal how good you are. <laughs> how good they are? Maggie, they stink. Like stink bug dipped in stink juice stink. It's just a silly backyard hobby. So what if they think they're good? Who does it hurt? You should tell Raina the truth. It's just a little white lie. What's the damage? <laughs> it was just a little white lie. Should have just told her she stinks. Don't you see? If we enter that contest, it won't be me crushing her dream. It'll be a thousand booing jeering fans. Yeah, like when Tommy Shuflyski dropped that touchdown pass, they booed that poor kid till you could hear his little heart break. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious, really. That's exactly why I can't let Raina perform. There has to be a way to stop her without hurting her. Am I late for the tea party? We're having a tea party? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! We're discussing our vacation options. Maggie, 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 must we do this every year? More exciting than gutting salmonella? Ugh. <laughs> More fun than gutting salmonella? No way! Thrilling than gutting salmonella? <laughs> Hey, Pupi, I had your rotten strong. Face it, sis. Soon as Dad gets home tonight, he's making our reservation. Terrible news. Some Japanese business fly reserved every spot on Lake Rancid for a corporate retreat. No Lake Rancid? No fishing? No vacation? Oh, my poor broken heart. Oh, what's that in my shirt pocket? Whoa, you guys can't be serious. The peskies at some snobby snow trap? Son, we're all fond of the lake. But maybe it's time we tried something. Chalet de Rocher, we offer room service, premium tanning beds, operational only at dawn and dusk, for your safety. Yeah, yeah, Lake Rancid's our vacation spot. Your roach motel's just a temporary fill-in. And it is just lovely, isn't it, though? FYI, I know you're behind this somehow. I'm not an idiot. And yet you've spent your whole life acting like one. <laughs> A timeshare? So this was your plan all along. Say hello to the new pesky vacation spot. Can I offer you an hors d'oeuvre? Do you have salmonella guts? Course not! Oh, vacation will never be the same. Ever. Yeah? We'll see about that. This is an insult to stink bugs everywhere. Quiet. I'm not paying you to talk. <laughs> Imagine how it happened. <laughs> I do hope the power supply manual for the gondola was helpful, sir. Oh, it was. It was. Aldrin! I'm telling Mom and Dad! And I'll tell him about your phony Japanese businessman. How'd you know about that? Ah, I was bluffing! You know what, Dad? You're right. This is station. So why end it now? We've got 20 minutes till checkout. Plenty of time for one last ski run. Sign now, ski. What are you up to? Grab your skis and find out. <laughs> the lens from the tanning bed? <laughs> Let's talk. Oh, the little vacation ruiner wants to talk. Well, too late! Well, you may have defeated me, but you cannot defeat the power of the very sun! <laughs> my lens! My precious lens! <laughs> Look what you've done to our vacation! Our vacation? This was your vacation! You tricked all of us into coming! Well, maybe if you hadn't... Whoa! Hold it! Let me get this straight. While we were off enjoying our trip, you two were busy lying, manipulating, and scheming. I own your allowances for the next, well, 
forever! And from now on, neither of you gets to decide where we go on vacation. If we don't, then... Uh, who does? Hey! Everybody who loves Tea Party Land, say 